tosser that I get you today. Oh, hi. Can I please get um, an iced oat milk chai latte with two shots of coffee in it? Yeah, that's fine. My love, is that medium, yeah? Uh, can I get a large or is it medium only? The biggest thing on the ice is medium, I'm afraid. That's fine, that's fine. There's uh, iced chai latte with oat milk and two shots of coffee. Yes, please. Um, and can I just get like a big bottle of water, please? Sorry, is that a bottle of water? Yes, please. Yeah, no worries. Anything else, my love? That's everything. Thanks so much. Right, same family can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. because that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing for all of us. It is like 100 degrees. So good. Hi. It has been almost a year to the day of me having my dental work done in Turkey. Spoiler alert, one of the worst things I've ever done do not do it <laughs> if you're looking for like a spark notes version of what this video is going to be a tldr if you will um don't do it don't do it okay but it's been almost a year to the day and almost a year since i made my last video about it if you haven't seen it if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos or a video about this from me then i will link it below it's a long video it's like almost almost an hour long i think i'll give you the abridged version so you're like all caught up with where we are now and then we can, you know, I thought I'd do an update and we can talk about the stuff. Holy shit. No, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm like, I'm sweating. I am sweating. Hold on. Oh, bitch. Can you see my nipples? No. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate for you. Okay. Spark notes of the last video. I went to Turkey for dental work. I went to a place called Mono Clinic, um, which is a, quite a well-known one. I went there to get composite bonding which if you're not familiar is uh, also known as no prep veneers which is where they put like a really thin 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 um not coating but like thing words on top of your teeth they don't shave your teeth down um at most they have to maybe give them like a buff to like roughen the surface a tiny bit um but they don't do none of the like shaving or whatever and it's like contact lens like paper thin piece of material um and they just stick them on your teeth and it's just to like you know make them look a little whiter uh if you have any chips or whatever just to even things out okay it's not for like you wouldn't get that done if you had like lots of holes or lots of missing teeth or if you needed like crowns or something you wouldn't get that done composite bonding is very much um a very surface level treatment you know just to slightly improve the aesthetics and you know, that's that. That's what I wanted. That's what I asked for. That is not what I got. What they actually did to me was the procedure I didn't want. First, they tried to push a whole face of crowns on me and I was like, absolutely not. That sounds like a terrible idea. Why would I do that? There's nothing, literally nothing wrong with my teeth on a fundamental level. They ended up then giving me porcelain veneers, which although they don't shave your teeth down as much as they would for crowns, they still shave your teeth down to the point where I can never have my natural teeth ever again. And they gave me porcelain veneers and I was like, this is not what I wanted. And they were like, pretty sure we told her we were going to do this. I was like, no, you didn't. Um, so yeah, they fucked me over, did the wrong procedure on me. A whole bunch of other shady shit went down. I was treated terribly. Um, everything was basically terrible. They photoshopped the results of my nose job that I had as well. All this kind of crazy stuff. Basically, the clinic sucked. They did the wrong procedure on me. They don't care about what they did. They're legally and morally ambiguous at best and absolutely negligent at worst that's the tea that's the long story short of what they did to me but now a year on i can still confidently say it's one of the worst things that's ever happened to me not just physically but mentally since that video many other things have happened and i feel like we should talk about it also i'm gonna address some things from my last video questions comments concerns and just talk about a couple things because i feel like it's important to get some things straight which people clearly were either confused about or just didn't really watch the video firstly i do not give a fuck about your opinion on cosmetic surgery let's just get out of the way i'm an advocate for people being able to do what they want with their bodies and being able to if they want to change something or they're uncomfortable with something or they want to improve their confidence or whatever and they want to go and have 
any kind of cosmetic surgery, whether that be dental work or fucking nose jobs, BBLs, liposuction, tummy tucks, uh, I don't know, what the fuck else can you get on? Anything like that, do it. If you want to do it and it's for you and it's for the right reasons, go straight ahead. All these comments will be in like, you know, this is what happens when you get cosmetic surgery. This is why I don't, I give a fuck about your prenatal cosmetic surgery, okay? I don't, I don't care. I'm still an advocate for people getting cosmetic surgery if they want, okay? So that hasn't changed. Also, people were loving, and I say, when I say people, I mean men let's be for real men in the comments were loving victim blaming me being like this is what happens when you're vain and all you care about is looks girl bye shut the fuck up again i don't care about your opinion but also like the victim blaming it ain't cute oh this is what happens when you go to turkey this is what what did you expect going abroad what did you expect being such a dumb bimbo bitch who only cares about how she looks and nothing else and is vapid and what what i cannot fucking stand this but it's completely predictable this whole thing whenever women or like femme presenting people get any kind of surgery to alter how they look for themselves like for their own you know self-confidence or for their own like feeling about themselves people and again by people i mean men or internally misogynistic pick me girls love 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 to be like well this is what happens when all you care about is your looks because you're obviously a piece of shit person because you care about how you look and this is what happens when you're just vain and all you care about is blah 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 blah. like the misogyny is just jumping out because god forbid a woman or a femme presenting person want to feel good about themselves god forbid we want to be like you know what this thing makes me a little underconfident so i'm gonna change that and i'm so fucking tired of this same rhetoric of just men being like well you deserved it because clearly all you care about is looks and therefore you deserve to get fucked over i hope your physical and mental health is absolutely destroyed because how dare you give a shit about how you look how dare you maybe want to change things about yourself girl bye girl bye and you don't get these comments realistically because men just love 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 to be like Oh, you're just such a dumb stupid bitch this is obviously what would happen you deserve this to happen to you you know you're vapid you're bimbo you're dumb okay and i actually hold multiple degrees but that's not the point somebody wanting to alter their appearance in whatever capacity they see fit does not mean they deserve bad things to happen to them and it also doesn't make them a shitty person i mean some people that do want cosmetic surgery are also shitty, but those things are not mutually exclusive. So take a long walk off a short pier, okay? And go be misogynistic elsewhere. Also, there are a few people who either didn't watch the video all the way through or didn't bother listening to what I was saying. And were like, there was nothing wrong with your teeth. Like, what did you expect to happen? This is the price you pay for vanity. Why did you try and fuck up your teeth when your teeth were already fine? Firstly, calm down. Secondly, as I said, again in this video but as i absolutely said in the first video they did the wrong procedure on me okay they did a procedure i didn't ask for i know my teeth were fine like structurally my teeth were sound they had a couple like little chips in and they weren't the whitest of white um i had a few little problems from when i was pregnant with logan if you don't know pregnancy fucks up your teeth that's why you get a year of free dental cab slay so i just wanted to smooth out the aesthetics you know i wanted them a little whiter i wanted the little tiny chips to go away which is why i just wanted composite bonding because structurally there is nothing was nothing there is obviously now structurally there was nothing wrong with my teeth you think i don't know that cool you think i don't know that you think i didn't experience it and be like oh fuck my teeth <laughs> that i didn't want to be gotten rid of i know i know that's why i asked for the other surgery like well not surgery but the other procedure like listening is man listening is things are easier when you just listen what else 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 i can't remember i feel like there was more that people said that i was like bamboozled by also i would like to point out like i do not take getting surgeries and work done lightly like as much as i'm an advocate for it like if you want to do it and i think everyone should be allowed to make that choice i know it's a big decision and i know it's a life-altering decision and i know I've, I've had cosmetic surgery before. I've had other surgery before. I know these things aren't just like a, oh yeah, I'm just gonna pop to so-and-so place for, you know, this thing or that thing. It took me a long time to make all these decisions and choose the place I went. 
I was very much a victim in this situation. I was very much scammed, I was very much lied to, not just by other people who are being paid by the company, allegedly, but the company themselves. So that wasn't even the only point I was gonna make. Um, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, ADHD train. Um, the original point I was gonna make was, oh yeah, my job and my life is directly affected by not just how I look, but the confidence I have in how I look. I'm a performer, I model, I'm an actress, like all of this stuff is based not just on my ability like obviously with acting it is also based on acting ability um most of the time but it's also based on how you look and if you don't like how you look and you don't feel confident in how you look that is going to affect your ability to do that job well and same as everyone else in this industry or in an entertainment or performance-based industry where you are the product like is it fair Probably not. And there's a whole wider conversation to be had about the industry in general and how, you know, once women get past a certain age, they're not considered like hireable anymore. Um, and but it doesn't go the same way for men. And like there's conversations to be had about all these things. But the way things stand, my job is very much tied into how I look. It is. And there was something I didn't feel good about and therefore I wanted to change it. And I'm not going to apologize for that and if you think that makes me a bad person or you think that makes anyone a bad person or that makes me like whatever um you're frankly an idiot but again it's all just misogyny people just love to shit on women or like femme presenting people getting cosmetic surgery or doing anything that makes them like high maintenance um fuck y'all basically i don't care about anyways anyways let's move on updates since that video wow i am starting to sweat it's really hot in here um updates since the first video i filmed so, I can't remember if I covered this in the first video, I think I did. This tooth here fell out of here. Where is it? Here, you probably can't see it. It fell out. It's never gone back in. The tooth is too ground down for anything to go on top of it. I'm either gonna have to get it crowned or I'm gonna have to get a, a, a dental implant. Cool. After that first video, um, I had, excluding this front tooth here, I had all of these teeth here. These all fell out, all of them. I paid a small fortune to have to go back, not back to, but I had to go to um, a private dentist. I'm now with Bupa and get them all re-cemented. Yes, I'm very well aware of the irony of like, I'm spending so much money now to fix something because I wanted to save money. But again, there's a wider conversation to be had about how unaffordable and unattainable dental care is in this country. And if it wasn't that way, people probably wouldn't feel the need to travel to other places to get dental work. Anyways, those all fell out which not only hugely impacted me in a pain sense because I had them out for like almost a week. I got an emergency appointment, but I still had to wait a while and it was agony. Couldn't really do anything. Didn't want to leave the house. Couldn't work. That sucked. And then also recently I had one fall down, fall out down here, which I also went back and got re-cemented. Um, I also just had a general like checkup with my dentist, um, who's lovely. And I was just like, look, tell me what the fuck's going on. I need to fix this tell me what's going on tell me what i should do you know help me basically and what he said and his diagnosis as a dentist was basically that excuse me um and his diagnosis was basically that yes i've been completely fucked over and that the way they've stuck the teeth down the porcelain veneers um is contributing massively to like the problems I'm currently having. I mean, obviously that's kind of assumed, but he said basically what's meant to happen is when you get veneers or crowns or whatever, um, they're meant to stick them in individually one by one, but mine have been stuck in in groups, which is why I'm having all these problems. Also the stuff they used to like adhere them, adhere, adhesive, whatever, put, stick them on is not like the correct stuff that they should have been using, which is why they fall out so easily or have fallen out so easily. Touch wood, I don't want to lose anymore. When he re-cemented them, he did cement them with like the legit stuff. So hopefully it lasts longer. But he said like the, the stuff they've used is not like up to medical standard. He basically said the whole thing was a huge botch job. Also since that video, I've literally had nothing but problems, not just them falling out, which is obviously a huge issue. Cause also I just can't like, my ability to eat is completely changed now because obviously they they did all this stuff to me, stuck, you know, these teeth into me. And then after the fact, when, oh, by the way, just so you know, um, don't eat with your teeth. And I was like, sorry, what? They're like, yeah, so you can't bite on any foods with any of these teeth. 
they left me two on each side top and bottom to eat with so imagine most foods that you enjoy a sandwich a pizza slice a burrito a taco perhaps what do you do when you eat those an apple even not this bitch not this bitch all of my food i'm basically like an oap at this point all of my food i have to cut up or like make really small put it in the back of my mouth here and chew on it that way because that's the only way i can eat because i can't use any of the other teeth lest they fucking fall out i'm getting heated literally in every respect so for the last year of my life i just haven't been able to eat properly that's hugely impacted my jaw and now i get like pain in my jaw it clonks it moves around way more than it should i also am having severe gum swelling and gum problems from the way they've stuck them in and what they've used to stick them in it hugely inhibits my ability to when i do like when i brush my teeth from the way they've done the work things just don't get cleaned properly so it's really really hard to like keep my mouth healthy in that way because of what they've done to me i get frequent ulcers my gums are constantly bleeding every time i brush my teeth blood just pours out my mouth my gums are also in certain places starting to like peel i don't know what the right word is um but that's fun basically the whole thing sucks and i've had nothing but issues since this happening like nothing but issues there hasn't been a day where my gums haven't bled or i haven't had like excruciating pain as it currently stands i can actually only eat on this side of my mouth because where they like stuck the teeth in on this side um like i said earlier about like brushing being really difficult or like not doing the same job as it would do usually because they've stuck the teeth all together so there's no like way to get between things if that makes sense so because of that um it's much easier for problems to start in other areas on my teeth because when i brush my teeth it doesn't give the same deep clean that it should do because of what they've done which means i've now got a cavity over here which currently is so painful that i can't eat on that side of my mouth so i can only eat on this side of my mouth and that's making my jaw go weird it's a whole fucking thing a lot of people wanted to know like have you contacted the clinic what did they say yada 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 <laughs> um i did contact them initially um when that first tooth fell out and then i contacted them again when these ones fell out there's like five here um both times they said to me like oh fly back over we'll fix it and i was like what you can't are you being for real right now are you being for real right now no what the fuck no obviously not and i said to them like why am i going to come back to you when you botched my face to start with and not my face my mouth well that is on my face why would i come back to a place that a botched the work they did but b also didn't do the work i wanted it's bad enough that you did a procedure i didn't want and then you went and botched it on top of that? Why am I gonna come back to you? What is like, are you mentally deficient? They actually messaged me the other day. Uh, I guess they've got a new like social media marketing manager or whatever, and she WhatsApped me. I guess she was going through a list of people that like have been to the clinic. And she's like, hey, um, so we've set up this new referral program and sent me all these details about like, if I refer people to the clinic, this is the kickback that I'll get. And the more people I refer, the higher my kickback becomes. And I'm like, are you insane? Obviously she probably had no idea who I was cause she's probably just gone through a list. Um, but I messaged her back and I was basically like, what the fuck's wrong with you? No, obviously, why would I ever recommend your clinic to anybody? You fucking cowboys. I was somewhat more polite than that, but anyways. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, did you talk to anyone about it? I was like, obviously I did. Like, yes, obviously. Because originally when these teeth did all fall out and I said to the clinic, like, I'm not coming back to you because you are crazy people who destroyed my teeth and my dental health and my mental health and my physical health. Um, why would I come back to you? And also they're expecting me to pay for my flights. Um, they said they'd cover my hotel. And it's like, well, that should be the least I'm doing. But anyway, they're expecting me to pay for my flights. Also sort out childcare for my young son who goes to school and take time off of whatever work I might be doing to come back so they can botch me further? I don't fucking think so. So after this whole conversation happened, they were like, okay, well, if you go to the dentist and get them reattached, we will pay how much it is to get them reattached. So when I did manage to get the quote from my dentist and send it over to him, I was like, this is how much it's gonna be. They're like, yeah, we're not paying that, it's too expensive. I was like, but that's how much it is. I'm not trying to take you for a fucking ride. Like, that's how much it's going to be. And they're like, no, we're not doing that. We're not paying for that. Mm -mm. So, fuck Monoclinic in short. Yeah. So that's where we're at right now. 
it's been a year, like I said, um, and it's still probably one of the worst things that I've ever done and that's ever happened to me. And I just want to reiterate again, because people are loving, like I said in my first video, blaming me, um, because people love to do that when it comes to stuff like this. And it's, it's just such a stupid fucking outlook to have, like, oh, well, it's your own fault. Shut the fuck up. Maybe I didn't make this clear enough in the first video. Um, I did my due diligence when it came to this clinic. Like, I spoke to so many people who've gone there who I thought I could trust, who it turns out, allegedly, um, are being paid by the clinic to give good reviews. I've actually connected with other people since who've had terrible experiences at the clinic, but they're very good at setting up an image. They're very good at making you believe they're amazing. They've got all these reviews, they've got all these people telling you how great they are. And then, you know, when it's people that I knew and trusted as well, outside of the clinic i was like hey i saw you went here was it good oh my god yeah it's amazing why would i not trust them like i did my due diligence and i was manipulated and tricked and i know people think that you know i shouldn't have like fallen for it or whatever but like i said before i'm not i don't take cosmetic surgeries lightly i spent months researching the lady who ended up doing my semi-permanent eyebrow makeup like years ago. I spent so long researching <laughs> because I don't take stuff like that lightly. I did my due diligence, whether people think I did or not, whether they think they would have fallen for it or like been, you know, kind of taken by this stuff or not. I was very much manipulated. I was very much lied to. I was very much scammed, schemed and bamboozled. And if you're one of those people who's like, well, I wouldn't have fallen for that because what up? Good for you. Good for you, bitch. Well done. Anyways long story short for this one year update because i'm sweltering i need to open these windows but i don't want to hit i don't want people to hear me yelling um oh my god i am like sweating long story short fuck monoclinic i cannot recommend them less as an institution as a medical institution like i said they are shady and morally ambiguous at best and downright medically negligent at worst don't trust them from my in my opinion don't go there in my opinion because you will leave, in my opinion, mentally and physically, spiritually and financially worse off than when you went. Because now I have to pay for all this follow-up dental care. And like I said, the irony is not lost on me that I tried to save money and now I'm going to be spending more money. Um, but again, if medical care, den dentally, I almost said dentrally, if dental care was more readily available, affordable and accessible in this country, people wouldn't feel the need to do that. But again, that's a whole other conversation. If you are ever planning to get cosmetic surgery done in another country i'm not going to say that like nowhere else ever apart from the uk can do cosmetic surgery or dental work because that's obviously not going to be the case but just really really do your due diligence like just when you think you've researched enough research a hundred times more because it's just it's hairy out there it's hairy hairy business fun little extra tidbit of information before i go just to show you like how easy it is for these places to hide who they are and just whatever. Somebody died at the clinic due to allegedly their medical negligence. And after that happened, they carried on trading obviously, but they completely rebranded like all their social medias, their websites. They like changed up everything to obviously keep people away from the information that somebody had died there. And in my opinion, I think that's probably why they have so many like influencers and people with any kind of following go over there, treat them very specially, and then get them to post all about it because then it just buries all the negative press they've previously had. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying that is what they're doing. I'm not saying that's not what they're doing. It's just my opinion. But yeah, it just goes to show like something awful can happen. It's something as awful as somebody losing their life. Like a young mum lost her life there and it doesn't stop these places. Like they're still running. They're still going. That has not had them shut down, which I think and again, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. But I think if that happened over here, there'd be like a big stink and people would be losing licenses. People wouldn't be able to like do things. I, d I don't know. I feel like there'd be a whole big hullabaloo about it. But over there, the fact that they've managed to just cover this up and keep trading and keep doing what they're doing doesn't feel good. So learn from my mistakes. Do your due diligence a hundred times over if you are determined and set on going to somewhere else for cosmetic surgery. I'm not here to make your decisions for you. All I'm here to do is share my story and hope that people learn from me and don't make the same mistakes that I did. Don't go to monoclinic. 
if you are set on going to another country for any kind of work, cosmetic, dental, whatever, be fucking careful, okay? And heed my warnings, okay? Heed my warnings. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, this update of a year on. Um, pray for me and my ongoing dental issues which realistically are going to cost tens of thousands of pounds to get fixed. Stay safe, stay healthy. Don't go to Monoclinic. Love you guys. Peace.